I'm Tina, and I'm here with our boating expert, Tim. How are you doing today, Tim? I couldn't be better. It's a great day to be on the water and learn about some basic navigation lights. The purpose of navigation lights are to help you and others operating at night determine stand on and give way status and avoid collisions. The light patterns on your vessel alert other vessels of your presence and relative location and your vessel's size, course, and type. So I'm required by the rules to know and show proper lighting when operating my vessel? Know and show, that's actually pretty good. Yes, from sunset to sunrise or during times of restricted visibility, you must display lights appropriate to your type of vessel and what you are doing. Obviously, these lights need to be seen by other boats, so the rules specify just how bright they need to be and from what directions they can be seen. You can consult the regulations or get expert installation. Personal watercraft, or PWC, are manufactured without navigation lights. Many states do not allow PWC operation from sunset to sunrise, even with aftermarket lighting installed. Check with your local marine police for requirements in your area. Captain Jack, what are your concerns about recreational boaters, especially at night? Well, there's a couple of things that happen when, uh, you know, after sundown. One of them involves uh, depth per perception. It's hard to determine how far, how close, rate of closure for an approaching vessel. So the key is you really need to understand what the lights mean. You look out, well, is it a sailboat or is it a tug and a barge or a ship? So without the knowledge of what those lights mean, you could potentially put yourself in a real, real bad situation. Certainly, education, education, education. You can tell a lot about the other boat based on what lights you see. In general, you can envision a circle around the other boat. From any direction, at night, you should see at least a green or red or white light. The circle is divided into two segments for crossing, from port and from starboard, and one segment for overtaking. For example, almost all boats display a green side light to starboard, visible from the direction of the bow to 112.5 degrees, slightly past the starboard beam while underway. This is that vessel's danger zone in which it must give way to other vessels in a crossing situation. You can tell if you are in a crossing situation if you are approaching the other boat rather than going the other way. Similarly, that same boat displays a red side light to port visible from the direction of the bow to 112.5 degrees slightly behind the port beam. If you see the red light on another vessel, it is your cue that you are the give way vessel in a crossing situation. In other words, the other vessel is in your danger zone. If you see a green or red light, you may see a higher white light as well. This is the masthead white light required on a power-driven vessel, which covers the same arc as both the green and red side lights. There are times that you may only see a single white light on the other vessel. It is required to display a large white stern light near its transom while underway along an arc of 135 degrees centered on that stern. That is your cue that you may be behind the vessel and need to give way if you plan to overtake that boat. We're here talking about navigation lights at night and we have the privilege of having Ken Carr with us who is the manager for the simulation place that we're working at today, am I right? That's correct. And he's gonna tell us a little bit about what we're seeing on the screen. We've got a bunch of different vessel ships laid out at here in a typical fashion. This would be your standard navigation lights that are required on all power driven vessels. You've got your white mast light up top and then you've got your red and green lights on either side. So depending on which one you're facing, this is what you'll see. Any recreational vessel is going to look like that. Correct, correct. Next we have three sailboats in a row. There's three different ways that you can light a sailboat. Here you look from the top down, red over green sailing machine. So that lets you know that's a sailboat. So you've got your and regular nav lights at the bottom, but those up at the top are, hey, don't hit me, I'm slow moving, that sort of thing. Next, this sailboat has what they call a combined light. Instead of having the navigation lights on either side down on the cab, it's way up high where you can see it, and it's a single light that's split red and green. 
Okay, but it means the same as the first. Exactly, exactly. So as you go by, you would see it change red to green. This sailboat's missing something. That's the sail, huh? Exactly, exactly. So what that means, if he's moving, he has to be using his motor. So that means he's treated as a power-driven vessel, which is why we have the mass light, the white light up same top. Same lights as the first guy. Exactly. He's treated as a power-driven vessel. Okay. Exactly. So all the boats have that white light just to say, hey, we're here. Exactly. Even down to a dinghy or a canoe, you got to have a flashlight or something so the people don't hit you. Is it possible for me to tell what kind of boat I'm seeing on the water just by the lights I see? Light patterns are different for various vessels depending on their type, size, and what they are doing. But the most basic difference is between boats under sail and boats under power, as we just mentioned. Sailing vessels generally are going slower than powered vessels, and in an encounter with you, a powered vessel, you would be the giveaway vessel under most circumstances. I have to admit, this can all seem a bit confusing. Well, you can see now how important it is to take a safe boating course to learn all about these types of light configurations. Remember, a good rule of thumb is to avoid approaching boats with light patterns you do not recognize unless you can establish clear communications with the other vessel in advance. Caution is in order. By the way, on water, as on land, a flashing blue light added on a power boat indicates law enforcement. Again, this is a basic awareness video and will not substitute for getting into and understanding the rules of the road from a NASBLA approved boating safety course. Go online to www.nasbla.org, find a safe boating course near you and sign up today. Until then, safe, safe boating. boating.